Cuomo to, yeah. to, to uh, Watson. Joe Biden ain't got past here. They say he be licking him on the forehead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see nothing wrong. Cuomo say he be grabbing him by the forehead. I think, Damn. I think my boy Cuomo is better. It's better than what Trump was doing. He grabbed him by the pussy shit. Yo, Trump, Trump did way. everything. I'm telling you. It wasn't, it wasn't no thing. And didn't have no charges or nothing against now him. Now they mad at Cuomo and and in sports. Come on, come on, man. We got we got a special guest. And uh, we'll bring him on Brian for a Hopper. minute. And then we'll do entertainment because we got Special K and DeMarco in the house. Entertainment. Uh, what you call him? I don't know what to call him, nigga. <laughs> Other side. Gurus. Entertainment gurus. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening, man? Introduce yourself to the people, man. Hey, man. How's everybody doing? I'm Brian Harper. I have my own podcast of a show called Things We Don't Like to Talk About. I'm the uh, older brother, eldest brother of Roma Harper, former Pro Bowl and NFL safety. So when it comes to Things in the NFL and behind the scenes, I've had my my share of stories that that I can uh, share, but also be dignified about it. So I'm just happy. Well, to we don't care nothing about that. Dignity. We don't want no dignity here. <laughs> <laughs> we undignified. No doubt. No doubt. Yeah. But glad glad to have you, man. Uh, how your brother doing, man? Man, he's great. Uh, just in Charlotte right now, hosting the SEC Network. So it ain't football season, so he got a little bit of downtime right now. What are his plans when his career is over? Well. Right now, he's working with the SEC Network. He ain't slowing down. Uh, he's retired already? He's already retired. Oh, he retired? Um, yeah, he's retired. At, um, like I said, working for the SEC Network. For the SEC Network. Um, he'll probably just play golf and, and continue to be over there and go over to the University of Alabama and hang out with those, right with out those guys sunset. and session war stories back in the day and be, go down to New Orleans and share those war stories of his former teammates. He didn't have nothing to do with the NCAA not giving the women no place to walk, dude. <laughs> nah, he had nothing to do with work that. Out. <laughs> work out. Work out. You know, said walk. They couldn't even walk in that little ass. Yeah, that little no. workout space they had. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. Uh. Well, speaking of football, and speaking of all of these uh, women accusing everybody, T.I., they on Cuomo, they was on Biden for a minute. So tell us what's really going on with my man Watson. Well, when you look at it, it Deshaun seems like the, we're, we're talking about the quarterback of the Texas, Deshaun Watson. And when you look at it, the media doesn't even give him a voice. But all of his accusers, it, it just continues to escalate from eight to now to 15. And you just wonder, like, where all of this is coming from. When you talk about a young man that all throughout college, he didn't have no much as a story of a library book stolen. Now, all of a sudden, this guy's got a problem with women. Well, you know what it's all because it's because... He wants to be traded. Is it seems like as soon as he wanted to be traded, then all this stuff just come out of woodwork. And then what got me was the first seven or eight worked in a massage parlor. To me, that I think that should be just declassified right there because they work in a massage parlor. The lady said she was trying to give him a massage and he took her hand and tried to got towards his genitals. Well, when you get a massage, ain't is a full body massage. So if you're already massaging the inner thigh, you got my thigh meat in your hand. Mm -hmm. You're right there. Mm -hmm. right. You know what I mean? You're right there. That's, that's you touch my thigh you meat. That's the spot you go to. You touch my thigh meat, I'm going to grow another I'm thigh. Say, that's like a prostitute. <laughs> that's like a prostitute saying, oh, he tried to get me to give him a head. Like, come on, I don't understand. Yeah, that's crazy right if there. You work in a massage parlor, your job is to massage shit. Like, yeah. I don't understand. Right? And no matter how matter she fact, I'm going to have a leg quarter. Hold on, but you said something very important. Nobody is pressed. Nobody is press charges. Nobody's getting not one. Not one of these women who supposedly been assaulted has gone to police right, saying they were assaulted. They just, right. they just sitting down waiting on it's a payday. It's just thing to say right now, man. Really? Yeah, yeah something to say. To find out. And to see if somebody's going to pay them off. The women, the lawyer for the women is neighbors with the owner of the Texans. He lived right down the street. Same neighborhood. House right over from him. And he's the one that's taking on the case. And when you go to massage, not that you're looking forward to a happy ending. <laughs> but I used to have masseuse come out to my house, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they sent a man one time. And I sent his ass. I said, get your ass off my house. <laughs> that's called back pages. You was on the wrong. You was on the wrong. Did he, did he have veins in his hand like me? I didn't tell man, you know, if you want deep tissue, deep, 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 deep tissue. Deep, yeah. No, 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 no. He definitely finna hit them tissue. Put his hand down. He definitely finna get in that tissue. No, no, no. <laughs> 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 All right, true story. They sent a man out. 
I'm over there, DC Curry. Oh, no, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don DC Curry. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wear that. That wouldn't feel right. I can't wait to grab each feel, feel, nigga, man. 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 What? But <laughs> that's like Mook putting his hands on you. Look at Mook's hands. <laughs> Shit. I mean, well, you got, why you got to use me? Why you got to use me? No. Yeah, you want them strong so, hands. Yeah, I said that to say a massage <laughs> is actually a, a sensual. It, it, it is. It's to get off. Now. Right. But it's a sensual Of course I mean, It's definitely a turn on I'm gonna tell you that right now yeah, you I'm gonna tell you something else I walked out on one time I used to get my nails done At this place And all the women were tied up And they said this, this, this Yeah Chinese I would not let a Chinese down. dude Do I my said, hands oh, no nigga <laughs> oh no! You want to bite your toenail? I'm good. I'm sure you, you want are. To bite your toenail? Oh, I, I bite them. I bite them. It was getting my hands done. Not okay. my nose. Oh. Well, I was getting my. He'd take DC hey, feet and get to rubbing them. Like. One time, he rubbing all up DC ass and ankles. He all up his. He all up here. Every time with these is hoofs, not feet. You have you have very very big hand. So there is a sex uh a sexual. Stimulation when it comes to massages. When it comes uh, to massages, it is. Nine, nine. Right. Since we had an expert on the, on the it, panel, man, tell the people the behind the scenes of when football players, the basketball player, got to go to with groupies. How does people don't know that the amount of groupies that show up at a hotel? Well, let's when do the it. Game let's do over. a tra- what's called transition okay. to go into that, so it okay. makes sense. Okay, right, right. <laughs> Yeah, a yeah. A lot of these, a lot of these women, in my opinion, that are accusing ball players and stuff or something, have been groupies. And then, when he's no longer receptive to them, or when he moves on to the next groupie, they come up with these accusations. Ass accusations. When the truth of the matter is, they were grown, consensual participants. Right. Yeah. Right. So there really ought to be some briefing for the rookies and so forth about how to deal with groupies. It's like they set up. You got these rookie symposiums, and they're just not really showing these guys what you're really in store for. Like Watson's biggest biggest mistake that he made was that he went on Instagram, and then he was flying them in. Masusa. So he doesn't even really know these young ladies. He, these, these players today, they go through and meet women off of Instagram instead of being in the spot how we used to do, eye contact, hey, how you doing, and getting a chance to know them. You could at least alleviate some of that pressure of who wants you for your money when you get a chance to get around a person. But hitting somebody up on the grand, DM him, hey, I want to fly you out. And a lot of these young players don't understand that regardless of how, how good she looks, no matter how she says she ain't into athletes because that's their ploy. Oh, I really don't watch ball. That's a lie. They do watch ball, and they know exactly who you are. That's like the girl <laughs> fixing the man. What's his name? Say she didn't even know he was a football player. What a lie. Lie, yeah. <laughs> but can yeah. you marry Aaron? Is it Aaron Rodgers? No, not Aaron Rodgers. No. no. Girl, who was a quarterback fixing get mad? Aaron Rodgers, man. Not Aaron Rodgers. He's been mad. Uh, uh, quarterback, man. Bunch of quarterbacks. And Pat, you got a couple of them. Uh, Pat Mahomes about, about to get married. The girl, married. The girl claims she didn't even know he was. I mean, he, he's a star, man. Everybody, when they, when, they, when you meet him, everybody go to your but can you, social can, media. Can you really hide from it though? Can you really, as a star, as a celebrity like that, can you really one hundred percent protect yourself? No. From something like this happening. No, because so, any woman can accuse you yeah, of anything right. just out the blue. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy, right? Yeah, that's there. crazy. It's a trap, bro. That's right. Crazy. But the thing is, if a if a if a woman of color sometimes accused, they'll they won't give her the attention they don't immediately. Give her like the you, being you, you're, proof. you know, you got people when when Michael Jordan divorced Juanita, a lot of people didn't feel like Juanita deserved that money. But Tiger Woods' wife was a nanny, didn't do none of the stuff to wow. promote oh, my what way Juanita promoted. Mike, yeah, Tigers was, was a nanny, and she, they, right off the rip, she's gonna get seventy five million, and had the nerve to ask for five hundred million mm-hmm. for half of it. Right. If it wasn't for Nike to protect them, that's, that's why he got seventy five million. And that's why he drove that car into that tree. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah but he's yeah! he right though. He's right though, yeah. because like he said, the, the black girl considered to be a prostitute, when the white lady seemed to be a woman in distress. 
oh, my husband left me and, I'm and he not, make not a lot of money. Interracial. But black women consider to be gold diggers. Right. Man, but it's just how the media plays it. I'm talking about how the media plays it. How the media plays it. How the system accommodates the white woman mm-hmm. versus the black woman. Well, look how they talk about uh, Lauren Harvey. Let's just mm-hmm. go there. Let me just, look, we out here. Let's yeah. talk about how they talk yeah, about how she go from man to man to man. Yeah, Lord, no. He just and, told and, you. And, hey, he just told you he made up with Steve. But he I'm just told saying, you he made up with that Steve. Is the, that is the. That is the. the Bro, that is the. Bro. That is the shut up. That is the shut up. We ain't gonna go there. We ain't gonna go there. Don't feed that alone. Please don't. That is the shut up. Just let him do that on his own. That is the. That is the. That is that. But you just gotta. And when it comes to groupies or like anything in in the NFL, you gotta have a good support system. You got you gotta have friends who really look out for you. You gotta have. Uh, a mother and a father that's that's checking on you. It's crazy. It may sound even though you're a grown man and you make millions of dollars, you you need somebody to say, hey, what you guys doing tonight? Hey, it might not be good for you guys to go out tonight you, because when you went in and, and especially I seen in New Orleans, we won a lot of ball games. So when you ready to hit it, you ready to hit it. But sometimes you need that voice. Say, hey, what are y'all doing tonight? How about y'all just stay in tonight? And there's sometimes you will listen. You know what? Maybe we need to just cool out tonight yeah. because every time you step out and you win, it's well, somebody daughter ready to do something. I'm gonna put it like this. When I lived in L.A., I had a friend. He was a professional basketball player. So I would go to the games. After the games, they would give me their credit cards. I said, man, go to the grocery store. Mm-hmm. Buy everything we need. We'll go to one house. Mm-hmm. That house, I ain't going to lie, they would tell me, call the strip club, get us about 12, 15 girls. I'm paying them up front. When they get there, they paid already. Whatever right. goes on in this house goes on. But right. they're paid already. Right. Dude, See. I did this. For three years. That's a wonderful whole commercial. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for real. That's a commercial for latex yeah, I would, condoms. I would, I would actually bring you know, women uh, to the house for ball players, and at this house, the ball players would do whatever they do. If I'm they smoke, you, I'm they drink, this, they I'm going to tell you this about them. Guy in the NFL, you know, physically don't need no security. I remember Sinbad one time asking me, DC, what you got that big guy with you for? Why you need security? I said, ain't nobody buy it. I need security for two things. One is to protect me from myself. <laughs> so I don't do nothing stupid. He said, DC, don't go with her. Mm. Uh, man, I'm finna go. You know, I've been drinking. Yeah. And DC, don't do that. Don't do that. That's the first thing. Yeah. Protect me from myself. Then the second thing is you need a witness. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So... It ain't necessarily security, quote unquote, because I ain't scared of nobody. I ain't handle myself. Right. But when these guys go out by themselves, when you look at a man like Tiger Woods driving himself, it's dumb, man. Exactly. Yeah. Even if you driving, you just keep somebody with you. That's just to right. me. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. just common sense. Yeah. Especially if you you're worse. Not only do you need somebody. You know, you don't really need nobody. In Tiger Woods' case, you may need somebody to protect him from the public. But you need somebody with you, mm-hmm. quote, unquote, security, to protect you from, from yourself, yourself that's, man. That's hood 101. Right. That's hood 101. Hey, DC, man, you, you're DC, very, you're don't very don't right about that. Bo that's not a woman. Don't go with it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see it, but I can see it. Don't go there. Right. Well, I appreciate it. Yeah. But I, 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 I went on the road with uh, Damon Wayans. And he had no security. Yeah. And he said it was easy, easy for him to maneuver without security because with that security, we always get stopped. Because you see all these big guys around. Who are this guy? Who are this yeah, guy? You got to have no but we didn't have no security. Rings, but, we just moved through the airport freely and yeah. we got on our plane. Yeah, you're we talking about 25 security and, guards. You know what I mean? Some people may Listen, recognize man, you. When I'm going what to I, the airport, when was, I'm going to the airport with Richard, people be like, well, who is he? I'll be yeah. like, that's Richard Thomas. Yeah, <laughs> I'm in security. Cause I'm bigger than him. Yeah. <laughs> but what I was saying to you. No, who is that? That's you, Gary Coleman. <laughs> <laughs> what I was saying to you was Webster. Webster? <laughs> yeah, put on a little weight. What I was saying to you was he he realized that we got security. People going you gonna draw attention. They're gonna stop you more. You're gonna be held up more. I remember but, back. But when we had uh, security, somebody would say, "Hey man, ain't you?" And he would just like, "Not." Yeah. Like, right. I we remember back. Moving, though. We I remember moving. when back when Cat was opening a lot of shows that I was doing. Man, he had the he had the biggest. Man, Cat <laughs> always. We like, like, what the hell is this for? <laughs> yeah. This for, but even them. You know, later on, couldn't. That was for Big Worm. I'm telling you, when Cat William first started, dog, when he was doing open mic, 
cat will bring security with him. Yeah, six or seven guys, about but, six or nine. Yeah, he, went and, open and he wasn't even he famous. He had a name for himself. Cat had security with him when he came to the show. Well, well, they weren't paid. I mean, they weren't called security, but he had guys with him dressed in suits. And don't it make it feel bad <laughs> when you see somebody in the airport? You got to look like a star, nigga. A bunch nigga. of great big bodyguards, and then you you weave through traffic and find out they ain't shit. Right. <laughs> right. And you try to talk to them, and they, the bodyguards trying to hold you up. Man, let me talk to that little old nigga, man. I know who, who, who is he? Yeah. Hey, you don't know who that is? Like, yeah. Hey, let's go. Who the fuck is on this though? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is on this though? The crooked hat, nigga. The beat up, balled up head in his pocket, nigga, right there. But you know, as far as having somebody with you, you need a witness. Yeah, gotta have that when you out. That's there. all but, but I you need. Know somebody what? to say, no, he swung at DC first. But DC, you know what's good though. You know a whole lot of backup. What's good though when you travel a lot as a comic, you know, you go to the airport. Most of the security know they see you coming. They take care of you. You don't really need security. Right. See you like, hey, let's just, hey, DC, what up, man? Come on, let me watch you up here. Let me walk you up through here, man. Bopi, what's up, man? Let me walk you up through here. So, you know, you know, you know, if you handle yourself right. Yeah, you know, right. I don't treat you. I don't, don't have no problem. I ain't like you been there. Yeah. I like yeah. you been there. I like you been there. Yeah, yeah I, I, I don't have no real so, security. So back to Deshaun, Deshaun Watson. Do you think he going to be able to play for Houston? Now with all this going on, can he play mentally? Can he get his mind around? Being a Houston coach, Houston said, we're not going to get rid of you. We owe you, you know, we're not going to get rid of you. So can he play for them now? When you love the game, that, that's just muscle memory, man. When you love the game and, and you good as guys like Deshaun Watson, it's not going to be a problem soon up and doing what you're doing for Sunday because you love the game. But now when, when you got to go work out and you got to work out next to these guys and, and you know you need to you, – you, you really, they ain't for you. They don't have your back. Yeah, it plays on your mind because they really – you don't want to be there. And, it is, and it's really a, a form of, much as people, we don't like to say it, it is a form of enslavement because no matter how much money you're making, all right, you've taken my ability away to choose where I want to go. So, yeah, can, it, because you, he's so good, he'll come out and perform on Sundays if you give him enough weapons. But when he gets off and gets inside there and he's in there working around the locker room, it, he's probably not going to be the best company to be around because he don't want to be there. In that sense, brother, everybody's job is slave. So I, I never agreed with that concept, and I played baseball for a couple of years. Mm-hmm. But from any job, you know, you got to conform. If mm-hmm. you don't, then you just move on to the next job. Right. The reason mm-hmm. it's not slavery is because you can walk out there anytime you want. Now you're getting paid. I mean, there's some consequences with you walking. Out. He would have but to I, pay I it back. I don't buy the argument that professional sports is like slavery. Yeah, they can trade you, but you can be working for any company and they can send you to another company or they can just flat out release you. That's just the, that's just the early, capitalistic Early, early buyout, they pay you out for uh, you know early retirement, all that happens. Right, but, but if he walked away, say he don't show up for camp, yeah. he would have to pay some of those millions back. He should. Yeah, you know, if he, he walked should. out. He and so he, well, if, if he signed a contract. He signed a contract. Right. So you got to fulfill your contract. So, I mean, to him, if he said, I want to retire because I want to play with you, he got to pay back all that money. Then he got to wait a certain period before he could actually play again. Yeah, it comes down to money. Yeah. So, is which, he stuck which, there? Which, he makes a lot of money for the When owners. it comes down to money, that wipes out the slavery theory because there was no money in slavery. Old man Torrance back there worked, I don't know how many fields he plowed. So let me there ask you this. No money. <laughs> so actually, do you think it's a coincidence or those women got a legitimate say, argument? Yeah. Not like you never heard about any of these women, but the moment he's ready to get out, now you got all these kids. So you think it's well, a coincidence? Not really, argument. That's not that the owners are, are uh, slavery already. That's just whole business. Yeah. There's no business like show business or whole business. But you. But, you know, but why do they have a voice slavery? now, though? They never had a voice before. Why do they give them a voice because now? Because the systemic. Racism. The the media is, buys into it, and if you got a choice, you know you gotta realize the media, the news. I hate to agree with Trump on anything, but they try and sell tickets too. That's true. Yeah, that's they true. marketing them. Yeah, that is. Now is it more? Is it more advantage? They gonna is they are they gonna get more viewers saying that Willie Johnson been accused of mistreating some women? Or 
that Michael Vick did something. So I mean, you so know, you so look you're at gonna get more. The, the 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 rich black athlete is gonna get more attention. Right. So but you look at Watson's situation, not like a slavery thing, and I may use wrong word, but more of a systemic racism that that's they what do. I, that's okay. what, that's what I, I, mean. I look at it more as a racist. I, I look at more as a slavery thing because. These women never, nothing ever happened or came out until this man told them that he wanted to be traded. It same wasn't thing with, same well, thing with Bill Cosby. Or is that business? That's the same situation. That's the same situation with Bill Cosby. That's the situation with Bill Cosby. Slavery because the owners are making so much money off him with the side betting and everything that they doing on him, and so they don't want to let the, to let him go because of the money they going to lose. Same thing with slavery as far as picking cotton. The money that they're going to lose with him leaving, they don't want that. So they would rather put this out there. They know that if you put this out there, no team right now, as long as this scandal is going on, it's going to want to touch him. So now you want to hold on, hold on, go back, hold on, go back, go back, go back, go back. Go back, go back. That makes sense. That money. makes sense. They, they be trying to win. They're not going to lose any money. He going to lose money. No, they don't lose money. No, no, no. They got. They he, got but his contract is up though. He signed a hundred. His contract is up. He got a contract last year. Right. With thirty some million guaranteed. Right. But I'm saying they're not going to lose. They're going to get that back if he don't play. But listen, if he goes to another, if he goes to another team. He's not going to Nadell if, if he go to another team. He, he got to deal with all the stipulations you, that's you're against just him. thinking about football. I'm talking about the he's side. He's about, yeah, he's making sense. These people no, are doing still, he him, can't man. go nowhere. They all, right now, that contract, he's owned by them. That's why he wants so to be traded. He can't traded. make them decisions that you're talking about. But they, he wants to be traded. The owners can but trade they, him. They said, but we're not. They don't want to because of the money they're, they're making lose. off of him. They're right. going to lose. But that's not, lose that's money. not necessarily. They stated. wouldn't necessarily lose. It depends on business. what they trade him for. Like That's a business move, yeah. They're, they're going to lose. Yeah, yeah that's a whole gamble there. It depends on, like, you, okay, Deshaun Dorman, he's an amazing quarterback. But if you come with the right deal, a couple of first rounders, second round, uh, along with um, – you go with guy like Khalil Mack, uh, an all pro somebody like that. But see, you that's not necessarily losing because you have a draw. And no, it it's, it's losing. I'm gonna tell you why. Because it takes time for any quarterback to get used to their team. So okay, you take you let him go and you get another quarterback. Yeah, Tom Brady. It's going to take a while yeah, Tom Brady for the really quarterback. Trouble fitting in. It's right. going to take a while for most yes. quarterbacks to fit for in most. to that system. Most. But there ain't a but, yeah, yeah, everybody ain't no Tom Brady. Brady. Tom Brady just, out there. Everybody's not a Tom Brady. The owners ain't looking at who's going to adjust to their system. Oh, but about no. can we sell tickets Peyton Manning. Like right now? Yeah, he went right to the Broncos and did his but thing. They but but they are looking at him like a Tom Brady. Doing, you cannot be mad at them for doing business right. Right. as right. business people. That's just like, who right. damn phone is that? That's just like, you cannot be mad at them for doing business. That's just like, I ain't mad, but I'm just stating it as a fact. I do clubs in the last 10 years that when I started 30 years ago would not let a nigga on the stage. Right, right. Right. But what happened is the demand overwhelmed their race. Right, the money. Uh, DC, put it like this. All right, you've been doing them clubs for 30 years, right? So another club in that same city will call you to do a show, and what you going to say? No, I'm not going to do your show because I'm doing that other club for 30 years. Right. Uh, well, I've had gonna, that happen to me. You take Jacksonville, for, for example. I've been going down there for 20-something years, Jacksonville to the uh, Comedy Zone, is uh -huh, comedy zone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At the hotel? Yeah, yeah comedy yeah. zone. And uh, there's a black club that opened there year before last. Right. That wanted me to come. Fat cats. But I can't do that. Right. I mean, because I've been going this one guy for 20 years, they've treated me right. So even though this brother got this club, I wish him well, but... I can't just forego all of my business sense and go do that. Now, so that's what the Houston Texans are saying. They're saying, look, it's business. we got a contract with you. We can't just send you off to anybody else and don't get something in return. Right. That adds up to what we're giving you. Hold on. Right. Wait a minute. They're they have to make of money either. off of what they gave them. No, they're so they're, they're not trying to break no, even. They're, they're not, not trying to break. They need to make they, something. They will get that. Yeah. There are teams out there that will pay highly for the plate. Deshaun Watson. Nobody come up They'll to the get it. They'll get it. They don't want to let him go. I believe you'll see some movement after the draft because it's all about who the yeah. next up-and-coming young stud is. So if they can get a couple guys that they feel that can help them, because remember now, the Texans, unfortunately, got rid of Hopkins. They didn't make the playoffs. Yeah, they got so a good draft pool. They got a good draft pool. The draft, and then another team is willing to trade, they'll let them out of there because they don't really want it to be a problem. But if they can't get an even trade to where they can – because 
when you can sell tickets and have a better record. Okay, now we'll let you go. You, yeah. you can get out of here. But if we don't think that what we got coming in, we got even though they first round guys, we got to develop them. If we can't make them better than what Deshaun gonna give us, then they're not gonna let them go. It's like you said, it's business in the nutshell. And I'm gonna tell you, if a guy can come in there, if a guy can come in there and win some games for you, yeah. you don't give a damn if Who three, is? 300 women right. mm-hmm. say he, he pinched my titty. Yeah. <laughs> and that 300 titties. I'm telling you, them owners, they send their wife down there. Here's, here's two more titties. <laughs> well, she had a mastectomy, but here's one titty, one more titty to pinch. Yeah. It's, it's a reason Mahomes got. Four hundred million. Chiefs had not been in the Super Bowl for fifty years, so there's a reason they went on and broke them all. And he switched his ass out there. <laughs> Man, swinging that ass yeah, out there, wasn't he? Whipped. <laughs> Boy, they climbed in my ass. I said that in Kansas City. <laughs> <laughs> you caught me twitching. He got a little twitch. Twitch. <laughs> he got a little twitch. <laughs> it was like, oh, that's our hero. Every day, sixty nine. <laughs> Blue 32. We'll be right back. Set Bye. hut, hut, hut. <laughs> you listen to this race. Yeah, I like my home, though. He's he a damn good player, boy. <laughs> <laughs>